NASA says it has an instrument on board. You know, there's a lot of data to pour through. More than a terabyte and a half has already streamed right down from space. The possibility of life at another planetary system someplace is very high. The Earth is a magnificent place. However, it is minuscule in comparison to the vastness of the universe. Ever since humans have been able to launch rockets and satellites into space, there has been an unquenchable thirst to learn more about the secrets it holds. The Voyager missions have been vital in this pursuit, providing a wealth of information for us to study. Just recently, a troubling warning has been received from Voyager, and it's about to change everything. Be a part of this journey as we take a deeper look into the data Voyager has gathered, including the terrifying message and what it may imply for the future. For nearly 45 years, the Voyager missions have played a key role in space exploration. They have provided some of the earliest and most important insights into the nature of our solar system. However, these missions were not designed to last as long as they have. The original plans for the probe were developed by accident when Michael Minovich realized a spacecraft could hitch a ride on a planet's velocity to travel further into the solar system. According to NASA, the Voyager mission was only intended to last for five years, yet both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are still operational, gathering valuable scientific data from the outer reaches of space. They were launched in the summer of 1977, just weeks apart from each other, with the goal of exploring Jupiter and Saturn. Both spacecrafts were successful in studying those planets, and Voyager 2 became the first to make close observations of Uranus and Neptune in 1986 and 1989. The journey of these four planets later became famous as the Voyager Grand Tour, after which the two spacecraft started on a new mission to explore the remote reaches of space. NASA announced in 2013 that Voyager 1 had crossed the limit which isolates our solar system from interstellar space. As per the scientists, interstellar space begins where the Sun's consistent stream of particles and magnetic fields discontinue. According to NASA, Voyager 2 entered interstellar space in 2018 when it was 17.7 billion kilometers away from the Sun. Up to this point, Voyagers are the only spacecrafts to have examined interstellar space. The two explorers researched how the interstellar medium interacts with the solar wind, which is the unceasing flow of charged particles from the Sun. They have also provided data on the heliosphere, which is a defensive bubble that encases our solar system. According to NASA, the solar winds shape the heliosphere, which is altered by external conditions. The edge of the solar system, where the solar wind reaches its conclusion and interstellar space begins, is called the heliopause. According to NASA, Voyager craft has given new information regarding interstellar space, such as the fact that cosmic rays are three times more intense beyond the heliopause than inside the heliosphere. Scientists use observation from Voyager and other missions to form a more comprehensive view of the Sun and how the heliosphere interacts with interstellar space. Last year, NASA experts declared that Voyager 1 had recorded a humming sound that was associated with waves found in minuscule amounts of gas in the near nothingness of interstellar space. According to Nicola Fox, the director of NASA's heliophysics division, the Voyager missions have provided important information about the Sun and its impact on the solar system for the past 45 years. The Voyager missions have been crucial in understanding the Sun and its influence in ways that no other spacecraft could. The spacecrafts are powered by a plutonium-based thermoelectric power system, but as the plutonium depletes, power decreases. In order to compensate for this, NASA has turned off non-essential and some originally considered necessary systems, such as heaters that protect the instruments from the intense cold of space. Despite this, the instruments have been operational since 2019, and NASA scientists are puzzled as to how they are able to operate in temperatures well below what they were designed for. Researchers have also found something strange taking place in the solar system boundaries, the heliopause. 
This boundary between the heliosphere and the interstellar medium is exhibiting a wave-like undulation and slanting at odd angles. The idea that the heliopause is not static has been around for a while, and it was confirmed with the help of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, both of which are the only spacecraft to have left the heliosphere, as well as NASA's interstellar boundary explorer IBEX satellite which studies the energetic neutral atoms that appear when solar winds and the interstellar medium interact. The Voyager crafts are the only ones that give direct on-site readings of the boundaries, but just at one point in space and time. Eric Zernstein, a space physicist at Princeton University, outlined in an email to Vice that scientists used IBEX data to formulate forecasts of how the heliopause would evolve in the future. To put it simply, the action of solar winds and the interstellar medium push and pull each other to create a limit that is always changing. But more recent heliopause studies uncovered evidence that goes against prior findings. IBEX recorded the intensification of ENAs that proposed disparities in the heliopause over many months in 2014. These were not in line with the model's predictions. Moreover, scientists observed that the heliopause altered significantly in a limited time frame after examining data from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. This explains the remarkable disparity between the two spacecraft's entries into interstellar space in 2012 and 2018 respectively. The mysterious movements of the heliopause has led researchers to describe these disparities as intriguing and potentially controversial in an article published on October 10th in the Nature Astronomy Journal. To gain more information, NASA is set to launch the Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe in 2025. Until then, we can only speculate about the odd phenomenon occurring in the far reaches of the solar system. In the middle of May, Voyager 1's Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, which is responsible for keeping the high-gain antennae pointed at Earth, started transmitting confusing jumbles of data instead of the usual reports about the spacecraft's status and health. From our viewpoint, the spacecraft appeared to have a glitch, similar to phasia, a disorder that causes difficulty expressing oneself clearly. It's possible that the data was random or didn't reflect any condition at all, as declared by NASA at the time. The most puzzling aspect for the engineers was that even though the spacecraft was sending out strange status updates, Voyager 1 seemed to be in excellent condition. The radio signal from the ship was still robust and consistent, indicating that the antenna was still pointing towards Earth. The scientific systems on Voyager 1 kept collecting and sending data as normal, despite the AACS showing odd behavior. Apparently, the AACS malfunctioning didn't set off the fault protection system, which is designed to put the spacecraft into safe mode when an issue arises. Fortunately, NASA engineers were able to identify the problem and put together a solution. It was revealed that the AACS had started transmitting its telemetry data through a computer that had stopped working many years ago. All they had to do was direct the AACS to transmit its data utilizing the correct computer. Since the malfunctioning computer had corrupted all outgoing data, the next step would be to figure out why the AACS switched systems in the first place. According to NASA, a wrong command was possibly sent to the system. Although it is not a major issue for Voyager 1's current state, the source of fault must be determined so that future anomalies of the same type can be averted. The past 10 years, Voyager 1 has been in interstellar space going beyond the range of our sun's magnetic field, which protects it from cosmic rays and other interstellar radiation in much the same way the Earth's magnetic field guards us from the sun's high-energy particles and radiation. When these high-energy particles hit a computer chip, they can gradually cause memory errors, which may be a cause of concern in relation to Voyager 1's computers. According to Susan Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2, Mysteries such as this one are not uncommon, given the advanced age of the spacecrafts, which have surpassed their original mission plan. The incredible journeys both craft have gone on up till this point have been nothing short of remarkable. What are your opinions on Voyager 1? Please leave a comment below.